14th of September 2021. This is Sergey Baklakov and you're watching Baklakov Live. This is literally the live live stream of uh, Sergey Baklakov. That's me. Hi. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. This is Nevsky Prospect, the intersection with Poltavsky Street. There's my neighborhood. I just got out of my neighborhood and beginning this live stream. The time is 6.32 p.m. 6.32 p.m. This is like um, uh, the most jammy time. Most of people are getting back home from work. I think that most people are finishing work at 6 and 7. Some are at 5. And now it's the most jammed time. Well, but uh, the place where I go uh, today, it seems like they are working until 8. Yes, uh, so right now, today we are going to, uh, uh, to the place which is the uh, Muyikovsky City Library on the embankment of Fantanka River. The full name is the Central Library the Central City Library of St. Petersburg, named after Vladimir Mayakovsky on Fantanka. Yes, because look, there is five branches of uh, the Central City Library. One of them is uh, almost on the corner of Nevsky and uh, Fantanka. And we go there, we go there after three years of a complete restoration there. Uh, the budget of restoration was one billion rubles okay one billion russian rubles and i'm really looking forward for that it was opened just uh, five days ago at the 9th of october after a global restoration so uh, welcome aboard welcome aboard well yeah i know that uh, for most of low educated people it's like nothing like okay but uh, i know that you guys are not low educated because my content attracts uh, the people with uh, not a low education. Okay, let's go. Hello, everybody. Barb Filer, Cipernek, Oleg Dzhakov, Bjarnigast, Jonsson, Neil McDonald, and everybody. Welcome to St. Petersburg. Today it's still not a bad day. Uh, the Indian summer, as the meteorologists uh, forecasted, actually about to over. The forecast for the nearest days is not as good as the last two weeks, but still it's okay. It's like plus seven degrees Celsius, no wind, pretty pleasant weather. You hungry? Want some dinner? No, I just had dinner at home. Libraries are very important, I think. Yes, Anna. And uh, look, St. Petersburg, which is what is really great, that St. Petersburg is officially uh, the most reading city in Russia. Yes, statistically. Well, here in St. Petersburg, uh, still 200, 200 libraries and what's also interesting about the uh, renovated library where we go that there is a, a big server there is a big server which is uh, actually stored the archive of uh, all the libraries of St. Petersburg yes the archive of the books from 200 libraries in St. Petersburg Hello, exploring with the Zwinos, Michael, Natalie. Barfiler, I could live in a library if there's a place to eat. Well, what about here in St. Petersburg? If talk about Fantanka, there's a lot of there's a lot of good places around where you can go for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
Hello, Mazen Jaim. What's up? What's up, man? Well, everything is cool here, dude. It's uh, jammy, jammy parts of uh, Nevsky. It's always jammy because here is the curve. Here is the curve because this part, look, starting from there, from the beginning, from Alexander Nevsky Monastery, the monks of monastery started constructing these roads. And uh, from the other side of Nevsky, where it's now Windsor Palace, Palace Square, you know, uh, the Admirals here, it's actually already uh, another another uh, people started constructing Nevsky. Uh, and uh, yes, here is such a mismatch, okay? And here is such a curve. And uh, for this reason here, because of that curve, also there's inter intersection with Sovorovsky Avenue. It's always jammy here, even when in the uh, most of the city, it's not that jammy. Okay, here's also a lot of pedestrian crosswalks, you know, also a lot of um, um, traffic lights, also pretty uh, long, pretty long, I mean, in time, pretty long in time um, phases, phases of uh, the traffic lights. The thing is, there's one of the most crowded crosswalks and uh, you need to wait like up to two minutes just for your turn. <laughs> the beginning of Suvorovsky. Suvorovsky Prospect. Hello, Susan. Susan M. Nice. Good to see more streaming. Yeah, welcome back to St. Petersburg. <laughs> By the way, uh, the day the days already uh, became significantly shorter than they used to be just in the summertime. Let's say today the sunset at 5 frigging 52. Yes, 552 today. Damn. Clutch 11. Wow, the street is so clean. Well, I guess... I guess you're a newbie. Because usually newbies are uh, getting uh, surprised with how clean are the streets in Russia. Not only in St. Petersburg, recently for the last 14 months since June uh, 2020, I've made it to 60, yes, 60 uh, towns and cities of Russia, some villages, and everywhere it was clean. Yeah. I mean, still, you can find some dirty places. But it will be a more exception than the rule. You can actually watch those places. There's enough of vloggers who are really painstakingly uh, looking for exactly such a places and uh, show them. So you can check it out. And uh, you may consider my videos as the balance, okay? As some kind of balance. Moskovsky Vakzal. Plochit Vastanya, Uprising Square. It's always crowded here, especially now in the evening when uh, so many uh, people are going away to Moscow, going away to suburbs of St. Petersburg, because from here goes not only high speed subsound train to Moscow, but also the uh, uh, Suburban trains. The suburban trains. And also a lot of trains are coming here, let's say from Moscow. It's crowded, always crowded here.
Hello, Jim Steagle. Московский вокзал, Moscow's railway station. Uh, and uh, if you take a train to Moscow, guess where you're coming? You're coming to Leningrad railway station in Moscow. So it's called Moscow because that's how you understand where, uh, what direction this uh, railway station uh, have the trains and in what direction they go. Uh, five railway stations in St. Petersburg, there's yet Finlandsky, like Finland. And of course, there you can say, okay, it goes in direction of Finland. Yes, in uh, pre-pandemic times, Every day there was Allegro train, Allegro train that uh, goes to Helsinki, the capital of Finland. There's also Vitebsky railway station. By the way, the very first railway station in Russia. Uh, I was taking you there and I was taking you through the ride uh, from the very first railway station to the town of Pushkin, which used to be the Tsar's village. Tsar's village. Uh, Baltitsky Vaxel, Baltics railway station, which goes in direction of Baltics. Uh, let's say там, Pskov, in direction of Estonia. And Vitebsky Vaxel, by the way, Vitebsky. It goes in direction of Vitebsk. It's like the town of Belarus. Jamie time 6.44 Hello Michael Milkiewicz Forty-five seconds yet Is some sound there that's exactly what I just said. Some sun takes uh, take the ride from here to Moscow. Three hours, 50 minutes, and you're in Moscow. The fastest way to get to Moscow. The fastest. I mean, if we will talk not about just the time of the ride, but about the time of getting from the center of St. Petersburg to the center of Moscow. Yeah. Crowdy, pretty crowded area. Canteen, Stolove number one. This is one of the cheapest places to eat. In the same time, um, you can be more or less uh, confident in the quality of the food because it is uh, powered by the whole chain, uh, the whole chain of uh, canteens, which is powered by the uh, owned by the holding, the restaurant holding. And um, yes, I think that they have a good control of quality. I mean, there's nothing super, but it's just a nice food for a very little money. Like you can get a plate of borscht for 45 rubles, which is uh, about 60 cent. Yes, 60 cent. A 
another reason why it's crowded here I told you before that here is uh, the Galleria Mall it's the biggest mall in the central district yeah it's really huge there's everything clothes stores electronic stores multiplex I mean like movie theater multiplex uh, food court food hall standalone restaurants a lot of business centers where you can get in different services two metro stations let's say here is the entrance to uh Polshik Vastania metro station the red line and there's Muyikovska the metro station of uh, the uh, green line of St. Petersburg metro And here is Nevsky Center, also a uh, kind of big mall. Yes, it looks like from the outside, it looks like this is the residential building. But there inside, there's a modern mall. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but so this is a uh, brand new building, which is uh, actually looks like exactly like the residential building it used to be here. They demolished that building and uh, constructed the mall which is from the outside looks like the uh, residential building of uh, 18th uh, 19th 19th century exactly as it used to be here before the demolition convergence hello sergey nice to see you again how is st petersburg today well uh you just uh, see you just see exactly the same what I see and you can make your own conclusion but let me tell you that in my opinion everything is okay amazing weather it's warm no wind a lot of people you know everything is quiet people are in a good mood they finish the day and they're going home or going to eat somewhere and we are going to the library uh, the library the central city library of St. Petersburg names after Vladimir Mayakovsky, one of the most significant poets of uh, the earlier Soviet days. And this is one of five branches, the branch on the embankment of Fontanka River. The embankment of Fontanka River houses 44-46. Uh, at the 9th of October, just five days ago, there was the official opening after three years of restoration. The restoration which uh, 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 they spent for it uh, 1 billion rubles on it. So I'm really looking forward to look at that. How late is the library opens? Well, I know that actually it's well, another branches are opened until 8 p.m. 8 p.m., okay? So it's yet a little bit more than one hour, one hour, ten minutes. But I've heard that uh, uh, the library where we go now, they are now going to be available 24-7. Well, at least in terms of taking the books and uh, bringing it back. Okay, so now I'm going to learn that. Hello, Alexander Pissarets. Steve Kembley. Now this is the corner with Marat Street, where used to live Dmitry Shostakovich. Sound in Syria.
Okay, I'm not gonna run. There was only four seconds left. Yeah, Shostakovich lived right there. At the house number nine. Marada Street house number nine. Number nine. And this is the entrance to... Here is the entrance to Mayakovska metro station. Someone for Nano can access library online. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But here, uh, still a lot of many uh, people who in St. Petersburg who appreciate the, uh, the personal contact with the books, with the library. It's pretty important. Not to mention many uh, old school people in a good way of it. Hello, Mama Bear. I just wanted to say hi. I've been doing lots of overtime, so I'll be back to see you all soon. Yeah, nice to see you. And thanks for being seven months in membership with my channel. By the way, now here goes the restoration of the metro, of the uh, metro station, Maykovska metro station. But they have to finish soon. Hello, Anna. Welcome to St. Petersburg. By the way, uh, the metro station called Mayakovska because this is Mayakovska Street, the beginning of Mayakovsky. Mayakovsky Street, at the corner of Nevsky Prospect and Mayakovsky. And that's where it's that American corner, as I call it, because there's Pizza Hut next to Pizza Hut, KFC, and there's Grizzly Bar, you know, such an American 1950s diner style bar. Exploring with us, we know, Michael, Natalie, thank you for your super chats. Extra funds for a library coffee shop croissant. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure those, they have the coffee shop there. We now will see everything. Mama Bear, thank you for super sticker too. What's the average salary in St. Petersburg? The average salary, salary is uh, nine, 900 bucks after taxes what is really important to say the thing is the thing is all the people are uh here in russia all the people are getting salary with already taxes off okay so already cleared of taxes uh, this is what in russia making your employer so after the uh, accounting of it, your employer uh, you're getting the money already cleared of taxes so you yourself don't have to pay taxes you have to pay taxes if you're uh, the business owner yourself, if you're a so-called self-employed or sole proprietor, uh, private proprietor, individual proprietor, you know, name it however you want. And uh, some people are thinking that, well, like 900 bucks, it's not too much, but in the same time, you have to understand that so many things are way cheaper in Russia, especially utility bills, and uh, this is already uh, the money which are cleared off, cleared off uh, uh, the taxes. But that's if talk about the uh, average salary. Yeah, like many people are getting way more.
in St. Petersburg you can really make way more money. You know, now here is, let's say, even couriers are getting a lot of money. Here is now the boom for couriers. So many people uh, realize that it's so, you know, comfortable when you're just sitting home and uh, somebody deliver the groceries or the food to you. Like, I mean, like already cooked food from the restaurants or cafes or just bringing you the groceries. And look, while I'm walking, you actually all the time can see all those guys on the bicycles with uh, or scooters with um, such a boxes, uh, yellow or green boxes. Yellow, it's Yandex, Yandex delivery. And um, uh, the green one, it's delivery club. These are now two biggest companies, delivery companies in terms of the groceries and foods. Yeah. <clears throat> And I can say that uh, the uh, price for the delivery grows up. If, uh, let's say, yes, uh, a half of a year ago, it was like free, free for you. Uh, now it's like you pay, you pay for delivery. Yeah, like maybe, a, maybe a, like one, two bucks, but still, like uh, they already have the separate, the separate line in check where you separately pay for this. So this is the uh, intersection of three avenues, Nevsky, Vladimirsky, and Litini. From here starts Vladimirsky, from there starts Litini. Even though physically it's the same road, and this is all just Nevsky. Litini, what means Fondry, Fondry Avenue, and this is Vladimirsky because the road leads to Our Lady of Vladimir Church. Is there a minimum salary in Russia? Okay. Yes, here is. Here is. And uh, this is actually... Uh, uh, what, uh, this is... How to say? Minimum wage. Minimum wage. It's, uh, I think, really uh, curious for me to say about it. Because this is something what uh, people who are against Russia loves to manipulate. They always manipulate with a so-called minimum wage and uh, the real average wage. The minimum wage here is about 200 bucks, 200 bucks. But believe me, but believe me, uh, here is like, I think 95% of Russians will not even uh, raise up their ass for 200 bucks, okay? It's just, it's just, look, it's just the amount of money the employers can't pay less, okay? So the employer can't pay less for 200 bucks, that's what it means. But in real, the real salaries are higher, way higher. And yeah, oh, yeah, let me tell you that uh, and uh, those so-called liberals, liberals who all the time shitting about Russia, they love to say like, hey, look, Russia, they have only 200 bucks wage, minimum wage, minimum wage, but this is minimum wage. It's not an average wage, okay? So they have to shut up. Rubinstein Street. Clutch 11. Damn. 200 bucks. That's almost slavery wages. Dude. Once again, especially for you, I repeat it. This is just a minimum wage. The minimum which can be. Okay? 
but uh, nobody actually nobody works for this money okay nobody yeah maybe only like some people who are retired and uh, getting the pension but yet prefer to work part-time as the doorman okay I'm asking questions, mate, not trolling. I don't know anything about Russia. Well, probably you were considered as the troll because I just now pretty, in a detailed way, in a pretty detailed way, explained that minimum wage is not actually correlates with the real wages. And you say that, oh, it's a slavery wages. Dude, this is, this is uh, just uh, how much in theory, how much, how much, no less, the employers can pay, okay? So for whom I'm explaining this? Is pension available for everyone in Russia? That's really good, I think. Yes, what's interesting about Russia is that even if you never worked a day, at least officially in Russia, you still will receive a minimum minimum pension. But yes, of course, if you like uh, never worked officially or something, you will receive a very small pension. But if you work good, um, if you worked like all your life and especially had a nice wage, then yep. Yep, you will you will receive a good pension. Okay, now this is the corner of uh, the embankment of Fantanka River and uh, Nevsky. So here is here is where is the city library, the central city library named after Vladimir Mayakovsky is located. The opening after three years of restoration happens at the uh, 9th, of, 9th of October. Yes, just five days ago. Okay, here I turn to the embankment of Fontanka River. And we'll go straight to the library. One of five branches of uh, the Central City Library of St. Petersburg, named after Vladimir Mayakovsky. So here it is. Absolutely new building. Three floors. 1,700 square meters. Let's get in. I hope, uh, I hope it will be okay for me to film. Actually, I used to film before in the other branch, which is located on Nevsky 20. And look, the library is right next to Belosilsky, Belosilsky family palace. City Library on the embankment of Fontanka River. Look, what's interesting that, you see, it's the middle of October, but uh, still, you can take the ride, the boat ride. Yeah, the boat ride is going to be here until like November. The beginning of November, the middle of November.
three floors. Okay, I can get back to my side. Sam G walking. <laughs> That's okay, I guess. Damn, I just realized I forgot frigging mask. Hope they have masks there. Okay, let's get in. Okay, so look, they are open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. from Monday to Saturday, and only on Sunday they are working two hours less from 11 to 6 p.m. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right phones. Okay, for blind people. Okay, let's get in. This is the box which is, works 24-7. Here at any time you can release the book. You just need to place it here. А здесь хоть. А тут можно пока без карты зайти, да? А как сюда по карте получить? Спасибо. I need to get the reader's card. Можно получить кар... вот. билет. билет? Да, да. Можно. Хорошо. Скажите, присядьте. Вы где-нибудь у нас уже были записаны в других библиотеках? Да, на Невском 20. А, на Невском 20. У нас получается. Да. Они вам выдали длительный билет? По-моему, по по я тогда когда получал, они сказали, что только там работает шерстский билет на Невском 20. Ну ладно, сейчас тогда... Посмотрим. Но в любом случае я что-то уже потерял. Сейчас что-то пытался найти. Так, тем более, что у вас, у вас это уже паспорт номер 4. Так, посмотрите. А, да. На какой из этих паспортов вы были записаны? Это здесь? новый паспорт, да, у меня. Да, ну ничего. Девятьсот тридцать один, триста восемьдесят пять. Сейчас секундочку. Да, да, да.
еще есть время на восьми. Клыков, где «ы» — это «ик». И мы меняем номер билета, поскольку тот был потерян. Да? Все верно.
Спасибо. До свидания. Окей, дюс. Семь минут. И я имею карту библиотеки. Посмотри на лицо Владимира Маяковского. Это именно после него. Имена библиотеки. Okay, look, I used uh, the cards and uh, the door was open. Look. The clock room. Oh, look, coffee. Who was asking about coffee? Oh, by the way, Barry Brin, thank you. Hi, everybody, we are in the library. It was opened after three years of restoration just five days ago. Who was asking about coffee? Look, here is coffee, clock room, co-working space, and WC. Vending machine. Accept credit cards. Oh, look, it can recognize your face, face ID, or the library ticket. Bilingual. Everything is bilingual, Russian and English. <coughs> so, loans, media hall, co working space. Toilets, bibliographers, electronic resources like virtual readers' home. Internet and access to uh, the electronic version of the books. Well, look at this. This book storage looks amazing, amazing.
I was quiet there because it's considered to be quiet at that part. Uh, okay, you saw that all the people can take, by the way, they said that you can take a book to read here or you can take it home. She says, the girl who gave me the library card, she said that in the same time you can take 10 books and 10 magazines uh, for 30 days. One time you have a possibility to prolong uh, the uh, term of uh, having the book in your place at home uh, for like 15 days, but only once. Then, then, if you will uh, return the book uh, with a delay, you will have to pay three rubles per day of the delay, which is like nothing. I mean like $1.75 rubles. So, I mean like you need about two weeks to pay one dollar for the delay okay what i can see uh oh look at that it's a relief that we see here it's only a little amount it's a very small amount of books here the main storage is located somewhere in there and they deliver the books now here automatically through the cherry lift yeah it's cool it's cool i mean look i mean the restoration was really expensive one billion rubles and it looks super cool now kind of minimalistic you know such a scandinavian style this glass stairway things with the windows in the library plastic sheets 
or 100 year old oak well I, i'm not sure if it's oak but at least it's a wooden it's a wooden windows which is great i mean yeah, yeah like look they spent billion rubles okay here have to be the normal wooden windows Travel inside Russia, Dirk Misseler, and everybody who keep joining. Oh, I see many different kinds of genres. The fiction of the countries of Europe and Asia. The literature of Italy, Germany, Great Britain. Gilbert Kitt. Mary Chamberlain. Philip Dormer Stanhope. Chase, James Hadley, the United States literature. Russian literature. Exit. Okay. It's too early for exit yet. Susan M, thank you for a wonderful live stream. Thank you for watching. How's the connection now? I started to receive the messages that connection is unstable. So I told you that the main volume of the books is located in their book storage. And you can order the book to be delivered right from here through the chili lift. Look, they are everywhere on every on every floor. So you come here, you scan your library card, and then you go. Okay, look, Sergei Gennadievich, that's me. Okay, take. Ah, okay, so look, here is also self-service. When you take the books, all the books have chip and uh, they will be scanned here. And that's how, like, uh, you will take it. You will register the books. And then when you return, you just say, return, look. Many languages available, Russian, English, German, French, Chinese. Okay, and what's here? Okay. I am I'm not sure how to use telelift but I don't think it's hard Ah okay you here asking for
Okay, I, I'm still not sure how it works, uh, but if you will uh, invite the consultants, they will explain. But anyway, look, everything comes to you just uh, through the book storage automatically in Telelift. clicking anything there before I know how it works oh look this is how it looked like before the restoration three years ago oh look at this yeah they were in a billion rubles to make the restoration Let's go higher. Okay, art, periodicals, reading area, uh, social sciences, natural sciences, technical sciences, social and political sciences, law. Okay. Look, uh, on this floor, they have coffee too. Who was asking me about coffee? Nice panels with a colorful bubbles. Self coffee. We have a lot of places for the parties here or maybe this is just unfilled place yet i believe that this is more like a technical opening yeah look look at this it still was a technical opening like look at this Yeah. But we are already here. You're uh, one of the first to see. You're one of the first to see, okay? Look, from this window we can see the uh, Fantanka River in Nevsky. Anichkov Bridge. Okay, I'm now trying to find the reading room. Yes, and yes, yes. This is, this is definitely the woods. This is the woods. Yeah, for billion rubles, of course. You need to have just a normal wooden windows. Okay, look, nobody in here. Okay, look, still a lot of work. So, yet a lot of work to fill in all the places. Look, maybe here. Wow, look at this door. You know, I love this kind of doors. Okay, it's closed. Maybe there. It's also closed.
okay okay look um i've got it i've got it finally i've got it uh, far not everything filled yet far not everything or maybe i, I don't know I can try to check once again. You see, not everything is filled in. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna go too far, I'm afraid I will get to some prohibited area or something. Okay, let me tell you the opening was just five days ago. Okay, that's just the stairway. So look. Actually, another unique moment when we came here. In the moments when uh, they just all completed. I mean, the building itself is completely done. But uh, not all the shelves, not all the books, not all the tables yet. <laughs> Just I там у вас еще не готов дать зал. Okay, so the lady uh, just confirms that uh, they are open now just partly, partly. Partly. Okay, but I, I think that it will take like maximum maybe one, one more month to uh, construct all those shelves, tables, and to fill it in with books. Uh, I think that I need to get back here uh, some later. You know, uh, what I have now recalled about when I saw this today lift about the B and H photo video store in New York that there I purchased my Rode microphone and that's also exactly how I've got it. I just got it through the uh, construction, which is like about this, you know, just my microphone came from somewhere. Are there also going to be cultural activities in the library? Yes, sure. That's what it is all about. You saw how many space there. Yes, yes. Sure. It's like on Nevsky 20, there's uh, the events all the time, including that events with Irina Molarchuk. You remember, two weeks ago, there was the uh, Grand Opera concert of Irina Molarchuk, and we were coming, we were coming to the same library, but just to another branch on Nevsky 20.
One day also I would love to go to the storage, book storage. I guess I need to talk to the uh, administration of this place so we can check the book storage. The book storage is huge, huge, like a half of a million books here, only here. Also here is, here is the, here is, here will be the server, the server with the uh, with all the electronic versions of the books from all libraries of St. Petersburg. Uh, 200 libraries here in St. Petersburg. And so you can get an access to electronic versions from here, from here to um, all the books, which is just mind blowing. I'm staying here just waiting for another um, session when the book will get lifted from from tele lift oh i thought it was a renovated older building yes it is yes it is but uh in the same time they had changed the design it is turned to be more like a uh, minimalistic Scandinavian design. But yeah, this same library was here before. I wonder what it smells like in there, book smell. Uh, no, now it's more like the smell of uh, fresh, fresh finishing. Like just, yeah, like the smell of just finished building. More than books yet.
Если у тебя вот сейчас что-нибудь можно отправить, какую-нибудь книгу отправить. Я просто хотел бы вот показать людям работу телелифта. Может, у вас есть что отправить? Нет? Окей. Окей. Да. Я до этого, кстати, на Невском 20 тоже снимал. Нет, там тоже. Там, там особенно медиа. Особенно медиа. Те, кто мне там понравилось. Там очень много винила. Винил Шостакович есть. Записку написать. just sending a blank paper but just for us to show how it works so you see here is uh, This is how on the railway stations, uh, different ways depends on to which book storage it goes. Central City Library of St. Petersburg named after Vladimir Mayakovsky on the embankment of Fontanka River, houses 44-46. It's cool, it's cool. Sell coffee, 100% Arabica, the real bean, now yours. Oh. I'm a stupid idiot. to put the cup Vasquez, thank you. Oh, 
Okay, look, lots without milk. Because when they were making milk, I actually forgot to put the cup there. So the milk just gone. Here goes first of all the milk, then coffee and more water. There's also a vending machine where you can get more stuff. So what can I say? I can say that I enjoyed the library. I enjoyed this. It's really now nice, fresh and uh, highly technological library yeah. especially I loved that TV lift no? and look coffee he was asking about coffee here is the coffee and I think here also may come the time later when they will have croissants or some other bakery for you yeah um, everything is just beginning here the new life of the library on Fantanke. Oh, so hot. An art center for children. Art center for children right in front of it. In the former Anichka Falls, there's the art center with uh, so many sections for the kids. Theatrical studios, sports studios, technical, robotics, whatever. Check it out. Nikolai Garbutz, thank you for the tour of the library. Look forward on Friday evening. Uh, I'm glad that he loved it. We are again here, one of the very first guys to see uh, what's going on here. The opening was just five days ago at the 9th. Here was like a big party, you know, many people invited. But I decided to come just uh, another day, 
I love it more when it's just like uh, regular days. I love regular days and regular atmosphere more uh, than uh, the atmosphere of uh, celebration, you know. Uh, that, that's just... Okay, 8 o'clock, need to go. It just did not recognize my face yet because my face not registered. Okay, look. As I told you, the library opened until 8, but you can release the book at any time here. So look, we are right next to Belazirsky Belazirsky Palace, where I was taking you many times for the concerts of St. Petersburg State's Academic Symphony Orchestra. Three floors. There will be three floors of amazing library with a co-working space, reading area, and a lot of books. Okay, so this is Fontanka River, Anichkov Bridge, and Nevsky. Belosilsky Belosilsky family palace Okay ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed the live stream today uh, right from the restored city library named after Mayakovsky on Fontanka Three years of restoration, one billion rubles, and here it is. The library is here again. Yes, 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 yes,
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. My name is Sergey Baklikov. This is Baklikov Live. Thank you all for watching in the end's traditional panorama. 14th of October 2021, Nevsky Prospect, St. Petersburg, Fontanka River, Anichkov Bridge. McDonald's, Convergence, Brian Holland, Nightly Echoes, Bill in Florida and Sue in Florida, Stevie Ray, Maria Z. Crystal, Barb Filer, Joseph Shokov. Steve Kembley, Oleg Dujakov, Michael Zwino, Natalia Zwino, Okay, from the uh, embankment of Fontanka River, from the city library named after Vladimir Mayakovsky in St. Petersburg, Russia. From Baklakov Life, with love, with love, dudes. See you. Enjoy the time. The Friday is close.